Growing up, every kid dreams to be a professional athlete. How they travel the road to get there is what gives very few the opportunity to achieve their dream. After four years in Charlottesville, it is time for Morgan Moses to take that next step in his football career and join the likes of DeBrickashaw Ferguson, Eugene Monroe, and Brandon Albert as highly touted NFL offensive linemen. Moses was one of 30 prospects invited to New York City to attend the NFL draft and participate in events in the community leading up to the big three-day event. It began Wednesday morning with the NFL Play 60 Youth Festival at Chelsea Waterside Park. Play 60, you know, it was a great event today. You know, got, got to come out here and just throw the football to the kids. Actually got to play quarterback today, so it was definitely a big accomplishment. But Teddy Bridgewater, you know, gave me the gave me the ball, put the ball in my hand, and he actually played center. So Moses 3.0 coming out soon, quarterback edition slash tight end. Further, just you know, coming out here and enjoying the day with the kids and just getting around and running around, tossing the football, dancing, touchdown dances, and all that. It's a great deal. Just happy to be out here. So coming out here for the draft, you know, definitely means a lot. You know, just having the blessing, the opportunity to be invited here and being out here with your family. This is actually my first time in New York, so I'm like a tourist my first time as well. So I'm getting out here, seeing the sights and, you know, just enjoying the process. Wednesday would come to a quiet end with just hours to go before the biggest days of these young men's lives. Despite it being one of the most important times of these 30 NFL hopefuls' lives, they are never too big to give back to the community. Thursday morning, they visited The Zone at Mount Sinai Children's Hospital. The Zone is an area of the hospital funded by Garth Brooks and Troy Aikman that allows the patients to forget about their medical issues and play games, color, read, and even be on a television show. This was a perfect opportunity for the prospects to get their mind off of the draft and get back to those who may not be as fortunate as they are. Being able to interact with all the kids and uh, you know play pool, play video games, and uh, you know just uh, be able to walk around with them and put smile on kids' faces. So uh, you know it got a little competitive out there with the Uno, the Uno game, but uh, you know we didn't we didn't get to finish it, but. That was just a blessing to be able to give back. You know, it's, not, it's never about just just football, but how you can impact other people's lives. After their community service, Moses and company returned back to their hotel and had the chance to relax and get ready for the big night. Really crazy, man. Just uh, you know, try to be as calm as, as possible. You know. One of those guys where, you know, 
wherever I land, you know, I know it's a blessing from God and the right position for me. I try not to get caught up in all the, you know, the TV broadcasting and, you know, um, all those things, but it's just been a blessing to be here. First time in New York and uh, having a blast. Right here is the, you know, it's the masterpiece right here. It's the draft day suit. And, uh, you know, going with a little blue right here, had to go back to the bow tie. Because the bow tie, you know, it complements the beard. So you gotta have the bow tie. And then, um, you know, with the bow tie, you gotta go with the plaited shirt. So we have a uh, blue right here with a mint green shirt, checkered shirt with the mint green and blue bow tie. Being from UVA, just putting the bow tie on, everybody says, man, you really are a UVA guy. Like, you know, uh, I guess putting uh, the bow tie on, acts, it adds a little extra, you know, a uh, little you know, finesse to it. So, uh, you know, it's a draft day suit. Another UVA alum, Herman Moore, was the 10th overall draft pick in the 1991 NFL draft by the Detroit Lions. After playing 11 seasons in the NFL, Moore took part in the NFL Play 60 event and knows how his time spent as a Cavalier was a huge part of getting him where he is today. It's really more so than just the, the school. It, it was just really just the, the players, the team, Coach Welsh. Um, I think he instilled certain values in us as players that allowed us to go out and become men, be disciplined, be responsible and accountable for ourselves. And I think that carries over into our lives. And uh, that's what I've taken away from just playing with that group of guys and just everything that they tried to do while I was there. Moore also had some advice for Moses as he enters this next chapter of his life. I would tell him just enjoy himself, uh, regardless of where he ends up. It's, uh, it's all about once you get there, making your impact with the team that you're with. And uh, enjoy it while you can. It doesn't last forever. You're still going to have a life and a career after that. And for him, I know coming from Virginia, he's got to be a great man. Red carpet events used to be only for movie stars. But now the prospects and their mothers got to walk down 6th Avenue showing off their dapper outfits as they entered Radio City Music Hall. You know, it's, uh, it's crazy, you know, there's all these people around here in New York and, uh, you know, it's nothing like this. You know, I'm out here with my family and I'm enjoying the process and it's been a, been a great process and, uh, you know, just taking it all in right now. Not only just to have my mom here, but to have my family, my offensive line coach, my girlfriend, you know, uh, what, what better circle of support to have around you. Uh, being at UVA, you know, definitely coming back from my senior year after thinking about foregoing my senior year to, to, to enter the draft, you know, um, definitely was a, a good thing for me, you know, just being able to stay around that last year and just gain more knowledge of the game and just mature myself as a person and as a man off the field. New York, just like I pictured it, twilight time. The city that never sleeps and it won't sleep for the next few days because at Radio City Music Hall, it's time for the NFL Draft. Fans, and we saw them, all 32 jerseys, they're here in full force. Several decks up the high balconies at Radio City, over 80 years of entertainment, and the home for the 79th NFL Draft. The first round was filled with suspicion, trades, and talent. Unfortunately for Morgan Moses, though, he was not one of the 32 first round draft picks. The Minnesota Vikings have traded the eighth pick to the Cleveland Browns with the eighth pick in the 2014 NFL Draft. The Cleveland Browns select Justin Gilbert, oh defensive back, goodness. Oklahoma State. The first defensive back of the draft goes while Manziel still sits in the green room. With a new day on Friday came a new opportunity for Morgan Moses to reach his dream. He and nine other prospects returned to Radio City in hopes of getting selected in the second or third round and walk across the stage to shake Commissioner Roger Goodell's hand. The second round passed and 32 more young men were selected. At 9.35 p.m., Morgan's phone rang. With the 66th pick, in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins select 
Morgan Moses, Taco, Virginia. Uh, for a minute, I thought my phone was broke for a little bit, but uh, <laughs> nah, you know, as soon as I, I looked at my agent, Andy, and I uh, said, uh, it's a 703 number, he's like, pick it up, pick it up. I think it's Washington. I picked it up, and uh, you know, it was Coach Gruden. And, uh, it was just, uh, I mean, it's just a blessing, man. I, words really can't. I can't even put the sentences together right now. You know, I'm just, I'm just so happy and excited to have the opportunity. You know, that's a lifelong dream for me. So. The newest Washington Redskin was overcome with emotion when he spoke with his new head coach and knew that the wait was all worth it. Got a little emotional on the phone, and uh, you know, I just, man, it's a, man, it's a blessing. I just be able to have that, have that phone call, put that hat on, walk across the stage, shake the commissioner hand, then uh, you know, meet. London Fletcher in the middle of the stage. Uh, man, it's a blessing. I was here the first day, here all, all day today, and um, you know, I didn't let it bother me. You know, I, I said, you know, God has a plan for everybody, and uh, you know, his plan was for me to stay, you know, stay close to home. Um, so being to have that, that opportunity, being two, two hours away, close to my family, and uh, be able to play and represent Washington, D.C., uh, you know, it's a great feeling, and I'm just ready to, uh, to go in and work. Despite moving on to the next level, there are plenty of things that Morgan will miss about his time at the University of Virginia. A lot, you know, just uh, the friendships that I developed over the last couple of years, you know, um, definitely miss that, you know, miss my coaching staff and, you know, just being a part of, the, you know, the Cavaliers, and I always will bleed blue and orange. The road Morgan Moses traveled wasn't always easy, but adversity makes a dream achieved that much sweeter.